I want to frighten you away from marriage. Just for a reason, right? First of all, the ultimate trauma in life is divorce. Malachi 2, 16 says what? Read it out loud together. I hate divorce, says the Lord, God of Israel. And I hate a man's covering himself with violence as well as with his garment, says the Lord Almighty. Notice he ties divorce with violence. Why? Because divorce is a violent act. When you bond with another person, bonding is a dangerous word, bonding is like shooting webs at each other, like a spider web. Every time you speak to someone, you shoot a web. Every time they listen to you, they get a web. And the more you talk to someone, the more webs are created. And then, the deeper the conversation gets, the thicker the webs become. If I say to you, good morning, and you say good morning back, there's a web. There's a bond between us. But it's a very shallow bond. If I, if I say to you, good morning, uh, how are you doing, and how's your family, that's a little deeper bond. I'm entering your life now. And if I ask you, okay, how's your children, how's your oldest child? Now I'm getting into a deeper bond. And then I get, if I get into questions like, what do you want to do with your life in the next 20 years? That's a deeper bond. I'm prying into your destiny now. Uh, what, what are the things that really hurt you the most in your life? That's a deeper bond. See, and you got to be careful who you bond with and what questions you ask. Because there's certain relationships you got to keep them at the thin level. You don't want to get too deep. Like if you're married, you got to be careful what you ask other people of the opposite sex. Because you don't want certain bonds to be con connected or created. If you're not serious about a relationship, don't get into deep questions. Because people start bonding with you. Sometimes you hear people say, well, you know, I just took him out for lunch, I took him out for dinner, and we were chatting, and all of a sudden he thinks I like him. Well, it depends on what you all talked about. This is serious. You understand this? If you start talking to the person about, well, what, are you, what are your dreams for the next five years? Right away, you're telling me you want to get at a deeper level in my life. That's a serious bond you want to connect. I mean, you know, you are nosy now. You, you push it. You, you're getting down into some thick webs and once those webs get thick and that's why marriage is so dangerous because marriage is not just bonding mentally and socially and psychologically and 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 you know and emotionally but you get now into physical bonding which is sex and that's a deep bond because now i gave you myself and divorce is trying to break that bond all those bonds and and you can never break a bond if you are bonded at that level and sometimes it's even not even married. You might be going along with someone for five years. You all been, you know, close to each other, and you've been courting or whatever you call it for five years. There's some th thick bonds in there. You 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 isolated yourself from other people to bond with this person. So them bonds are deep, and you decide you can break it off. It ain't that simple. It's almost like a marriage, and you cannot break a bond. You can't even cut it. You have to tear it, and that is called a broken heart. A broken heart is bleeding bonds. They are open wounds. They, are, they, were, they were ripped from your emotions, from your psyche, from your spirit. And that's why relationships are very dangerous. You don't want to, to develop at, at levels that you can't be responsible for. And that's why God says, I hate divorce. Divorce is traumatizing. It's the ripping of two people's bonds apart. No lawyer can give you a divorce. Impossible. No judge can give you a divorce. Impossible. What they give you is a piece of paper. They cannot give you an emotional divorce. That's why when you leave the classroom, all hell breaks. I mean, when, when, you, leave, when, when you leave the courtroom, rather, all hell breaks loose after that for months. Because it ain't as simple as you thought. And the kids are involved, the bonds are twice as thick. So, he's saying before you even get into marriage, think about this. 
Can I handle the ripping? Can I handle wounds that last for 10 years? I'm still licking them. And then every time I see this person in the food store, some blood comes out again. And I see them in the school, pick up the kids, the blood, you know, there's this, do you want that trauma? Or would you rather just be happy until you find the right person that you ain't never going to get divorced from? Thank you.